Take a moment to find your neutral spine by rounding your back, dropping your chin, tucking your tailbones under, and then letting the tailbones out wide, dropping your waist and lifting your chin. And again, chin on your chest, round your back, tuck your tail under. And then release your tail, drop your tummy, lift your chin. Once more each way. Finishing in your neutral, which is when you're not all rounded up, you're not all dipped down, you're in your middle. And if you can see yourself on your screen, you'll see you've got a relatively flat back. Now, the movement's going to look simple. We're going to hold the tummy muscles towards us on purpose. Take one leg out, lift it up in line with your back, bring it down and draw it under, and then change it for the other leg. Out, lift, down, back under. But I want lots of attention to detail. In particular, it needs to be your bottom that lifts your leg, not an arching of your back. And as you swap feet, absolutely nothing else should move. So if there was a glass of champagne balanced on your bottom, it wouldn't fall off when you swap. And keeping that champagne steady should make you feel like you have to think about your abdominals when you swap sides. Then we're going to pause, have a quick check of your neutral by rounding and dropping and coming back to that middle position. Now focus in on your hands and shoulders and pull your shoulders away from your ears to get a lovely neckline. Peel one hand off your mat and stretch it ahead of you. Then put it down and again without a glass of champagne on your back moving, switch hands. And this should take a bit of thinking. So if you haven't got enough weight on your hands, it'll be too easy to swap. You'll be like, way, easy peasy. If you've got enough weight on your hands, you should feel that it is a tummy exercise when you do the swap. If it doesn't feel like enough of a tummy exercise, take your knees back and lift your feet clear. And do your swap from this position. You're going to hear my voice change. Now I've got to work a lot harder to swap my hands. And I will have to shift my body weight a little bit. But you're trying not to shift very much. You're trying to use your core to keep you steady through the middle. So you become like a one-armed stool. If that's gone a step too far, pop the feet back on the ground and go for that middling difficulty. Try two more with each arm. And then when you're nice and even, sit back on your heels, give your wrists a break by doing some figure of eights.